And here we go without saving, without the. Stop with that! What should I have to do? Oh! Right! Uh... Rapture... Yeah, that. I'm so sorry, I'm not talking because I'm trying to concentrate because I don't know who this is this. Ouch. God damn it, what the fuck? Can you stop? Come on, let me get out of here. What the fuck? How the fuck did it? How the fuck did he know where I was? Oh, god damn it! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. What the fuck? I jumped to the side, what the hell? Wait, I need to recover a little bit. Let me get drunk a little bit. Yes, that's the stuff. What happened? The fucking beast just got stuck? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Oh, come on, I don't want to... Come on, just die, you dumbass! Oh, for fuck's sake, come on! Oh, come on! Really? Don't tell me. Come on, can you just die? I don't have any health!
Oh god, no, 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 get out from there, get out from there! What? What? He died? How the fuck did he die? I can kill this bastard! What the fuck? Did the guy really die? Because if he died, I will go back. I don't want him to die. What? As the last gasps of life seep from the beast. Master Geralt, do what you must. Finish the deed. No. Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It is his right. Long live Geralt the Merciful! Pikeman, see to the beast! The... The other guy actually died. Forgive me. I am not as nimble as in my younger years. Ah, uh, no. Thank you. You fought bravely. Thanks for your help. I really thought he died. Guillaume, the lad came down to close to dying. I'm fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. She approaches. Okay. Oh, god damn. Geralt, we must talk. Vivian, you shall talk later in the medic's tent. That's true. Magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish to have struck upon you. Who is that? And I'm truly honored. Honored. See to our young hero. Hop, hop. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. Okay. long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. <laughs> Why is the armor completely green there in that scene? Uh, a fight against the Shmarmies. Shale Mars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises. Uh, gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm -hmm. What about the crowd? Say the Shalmar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, we would remind you your services have been retained. And as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated for completing another task altogether. Ah, okay, okay. About the contract. Tell me about the contract. I'm getting annoyed with you. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He left the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. Poor beast. He hadn't done anything, he just was capturable. He was probably leaving his own house, having a chill out day, and suddenly he was attacked, captured, and sent into that yes. fucking bullshit. Have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Alright! Oh, Dandelion's account! Uh, yes, but solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. <laughs> if we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. 
Okay, calm down, Jesus. Ah, the very man we would entrust with these tasks. Damien de la Tour, captain of my personal guard. Okay. Your Grace. Witcher. He looks fucked up. Sorry to have to tell you, Bruce will kill your some guardsmen. Sorry to have to tell you, but the guardsmen handling the last victim's body. I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corvo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. Oh, a Bruxa, a kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through a careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Gerrit no. insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. We're gonna need two things, information and access to the laboratory. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something, need to analyze it. A quiet place, that's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Damien. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning the year. I've heard really? much about you. You bring trouble or thus far have always. And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, are you the beast? We settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Really? Are the legends true? Do Witchers usually demand that which you find at home yet did not expect? Uh, not always. Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise. It's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Usually we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient petitioners or a set of sample fabrics for a new dress. Poor rewards, both. <laughs> so you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive the deed to a vineyard, Corvo Bianco. And the sum of coins. What? All at my own place? Title to the <gasps> shall be given to you at once. Surely you'll need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Holy shit! A generous gesture, Your Grace. But uh, over beyond go. Isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it not? The Chancellor is bungled things again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems to a witcher. What's more, nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a green legend. Ooh, nice! <laughs> I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. The beast first victim. How did it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew old, hung up his sword, and took to wine making. Crespi was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. <laughs> he did not grant it. He could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. Ooh, nice. Where they find the body. Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. God damn. He died suddenly, but the body was on its knees. Meaning someone opposed it. So it seems. Mm, I see. And the second one? Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. 
its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast, dealing in a way. Take you've excluded the possibility that your mom died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, Amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Dulac. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in a gutter, dressed in nightshirt and cap, a pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bedroom. Ramon Dulac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble huh. to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. Hmm, nice. So, both vic victims were both older knights. They all they all refer uh, they all retired from being knights. They tried to make a business of some kind, and they were actually a little bit shitty with that business. So basically, the beast is only killing old knights who should be honorable people, and actually try, uh, they are being uh, shady people. Hmm. Maybe. So, first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges. Enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinchy. Found a Stinchy, yeah. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. So, similarity between the victims seems to be more and more of them. Lots of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever it is, has some meaning to convey. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. Even though. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Have you considered that's what the beast's trying to draw attention to? All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. And even if the Knights of Toussaint swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Why those virtues is actually virtues? Why are they so important to your knights? Strange question. Your grace, forgive me. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Toussaint, <laughs> we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. So the beast, the beast seems to huh. be pointing out moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor compromised by the pillory. Wisdom by ridicule. Generosity by a coin pouch shoved down its throat. It seems to fit true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's go. At the moment, all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunts shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Nope. something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. Not sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. 
Damien, to me something so obvious. The Peyrac Pelion, Crespi, Delacroix, and the Lac formed the nightly team. It was years ago, but... The... What does that mean, a team? They were, a team? they were close friends, tightly knit, and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Jew. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Huh. I need to find Milton. Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. Rather problematic. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start, and he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very well, very well. Follow me. My gardens, my night, I shall take the floor. The murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses. Okay. So cutscene or I will have to do what there on my horse. Give him a ho God damn it. Fucking music. <laughs> Every time I say say horse, I remember the music. Your Grace. Oh, oh badass Grace. God damn. Gerald, don't look. Gerald, you little bastard, always looking at some uh, some chick's ass. What the hell? Why I should? Your Highness, I mind it doesn't get wrinkled. Right. Here we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, that is silk. Be careful. Give it to me. <laughs> Poor man, <laughs> he lost his horse, <laughs> the only job he took, <laughs> he didn't have to finish him. <laughs> God damn. Uh.